This is from BrownsNation.com. Two shocking trades the Browns could make this offseason. They begin with the aforementioned Jedrick Wills. Three seasons with Bill Callahan. Couldn't break Wills out of his neck for giving up on plays. Still wins at the 2.5 second mark enough for Barry to flip him for a mid-round pick before April. And I don't know if you'd flip a former 10th overall pick for a mid-round pick. but um, And then they say Amari Cooper. Uh, Barry could deal could uh, Barry made the deal last season, um, gave up a fifth round pick. Imagine if he got a second round pick for the same receiver this year, just as abilities start to fade. If Watson talks Barry into pursuing former teammate DeAndre Hopkins, it is probably at the expense of Cooper. Yeah, that man, that sounds like moving a lot of chess pieces around that don't mean, need to be moved. Um, but if you you can't trade. Cooper before you go out and get his replacement <laughs> because then if you don't have him you don't have a receiving core yeah and you know the Browns aren't quite frankly at the points where they're going to trade for draft assets they're not flipping starting players for draft assets they are not rebuilding anymore like for better or worse they are trying to make the playoffs this year um, and not just trying to make the playoffs they're trying to make a run this year so the idea that we're just going to be like, hey, we are our left tackle, our starting left tackle. Let's trade him for a mid-round pick maybe is ridiculous. Like it, it would be ridiculous. Um, and, and honestly, if you want to trade Jed Wills, you should want him to get the fifth-year extension because that's the only way you're going to be able to trade him is if you give him a fifth-year extension. He plays well in the fourth year of that extension. Then in the offseason, you could trade him. But again, why would you trade somebody who's good? Like, you know, like that – it doesn't make sense to create a hole on your roster for what a third round pick at best yeah. like that that's ridiculous um and in amari cooper trading him you're not going to get a second round pick you really aren't because he was good the year that the cowboys traded him and he only got a fifth round pick for him right so you're not why why make the mistake we just saw the cowboys make this mistake and all year we laughed at the cowboys ha ha you traded amari cooper to browns for fifth round pick ha, that was dumb and now we're like, hey, we should do what the Cowboys did. That's dope. That's dope. We should we should make that same exact mistake. Not just with wide receiver, but with left tackle. Let's do both of that. Let's just trade away our starters here, um, and then get mad at Deshaun Watson if he doesn't find success with with two less starters. And then he's gonna want to trade out because you know what the team that had him before that lost him did this. This is what they did. They traded his starters for draft picks, and then. They lost Deshaun Watson. So if you're trying to get Deshaun Watson to request a trade, perfect stuff to suggest. If you're trying to make the team better, don't think that's going to be helpful.